All right, thanks, folks. So uh, I'll just jump right in. So, you know, what is Selector? So Selector is a platform to transform your operational data into actionable insights. What we do is that we come into your network and IT environment and we establish a sense of what's normal for your environment. And then we tell you when your environment has deviated from normal so that you can respond to that. I'm Kevin Camel. I head up product here at Selector. In terms of our key focus areas at the company, um, three major tiers. Um, so the first one is really in the collection and management of heterogeneous data. What we want to do there is come into your environment. We want to capture metrics, logs, events from pretty much all the equipment that you have, from the network all the way up to your application. But largely on the network side, uh, what we want to do is come in and deal with any multi-vendor setups that you have. So you don't need to use vendor-specific software in order to sort of monitor and understand uh, what's happening with the equipment. We're going to sort of come in and collect all of that data, and we're going to warehouse that within our stack. And what we're going to do from there is basically come in and apply machine learning and AI to that telemetry. For time series data, we'll analyze that. Logs, we're going to analyze that. And the idea here is to automatically surface insights from the telemetry that's collected within your environment and let you know again that that's sort of deviated away from normal um, rather than you needing to sort of manually go do that. Today, the status quo for operators is pretty much when something goes sideways, you're going to need to come in and sort of manually look at that data. You know, it's not uncommon in a knock. You're going to see multiple different displays that will be up on the wall. And, you know, one of them will be for a metrics platform. Another one will be for a logs platform and so forth. And people will visually correlate between those things and try to bridge as to what's happening within the network or IT environment. And what we're trying to do is basically automatically do all of that work for you and then deliver those correlations uh, so that you can go do something with that. And I'll talk a bit more about that in a moment. Um, and the last bit here is uh, addressing the challenges related to siloed collaboration. It's not uncommon in the NOC and inside of operations teams today for certain people not to have access to certain tools. It's just part and parcel that like some teams are going to have access to some data that other teams won't have. And this means in a case where you're going to have an incident that's like this, that uh, you're going to need to basically bring everybody into the conversation in order to remediate that particular incident. One of the things that we've done with Selector that's pretty interesting is that we have a generative AI integrated directly into our platform an LLM that's distributed with Selector. And what this actually allows you to do is to conversationally interrogate your telemetry. No need to go learn like complex query languages or things like this. Um, but beyond that, that sort of channel, and whether it's Slack or Teams or whatever other collaboration platforms you might use, the channel basically is available to the entirety of the team to sort of like jointly work through the remediation of an incident using the telemetry that's been collected by the platform. Now, in terms of the sort of collection of data, um, any data from any source. Uh, one of the things that we did at Selector very early on is that we recognized that we needed to collect data directly rather than rely on intermediate tools in order to do that. So we have the ability to go directly to network devices and collect SNMP data, Netflow data, Syslog, uh, GNMI, things of this nature. We can go directly to infrastructure and collect telemetry from there. We can go directly to applications and services and collect the telemetry from, from that. In a lot of cases, um, enterprise organizations and service providers will actually have their own proprietary data sources. Something that we have is a no-code, low-code type integration platform integrated with Selector that allows us to very quickly build out novel integrations for sort of bespoke applications that our customers have that allows us to grab that data and bring it in. From our perspective, more data is better. Like we're just trying to be thoughtful about bringing in every source of data that we can find. Now, once we go ahead and sort of collect that data, the metrics, the logs and events, if you've got CMDB, we're going to pull data from there. If you've got metadata, we're going to pull it from there as well. Um, and we're going to warehouse that within our own data lake. We're going to collect all of that telemetry and bring it in. Once we have that telemetry, we're going to apply machine learning based baselining uh, to it. We're going to understand what normal is for that time series. And when we see the current time series deviate away from that baseline or what's normal, we're going to capture that as an event. And we're going to put that in an event ledger. We're going to use it for later. We're not just going to send out an alert. We're going to basically use that data for correlations later. And as part of this, we're going to use that CMDB and that metadata. If that's you know contextual data related to, say, a router or a port 
or a particular BGP interface or something like this or BGP session. What we're going to do is we're just going to tag those events, keep that in the ledger. Um, we'll also use any topological data that's available to us. Um, and we're going to do something similar for log mining as well. For log miner, we're basically going to come in, we're going to look at all those logs, we're going to understand and sort of uh, categorize the different logs and we're gonna extract the different events directly from the logs, all of the metadata related to it, and we'll use that and also put those log-based events into the event ledger. And now what we've done is basically reduce the metrics and logs to their lowest common denominator. Now we can actually come in and talk about doing correlations. Correlations are done with uh, temporal correlation, so within a certain time window. We're also gonna use contextual correlation if it's related to the same machine, particular interface on a router, uh, you know, uh, particular session, things of this nature. And then also that uh, topological correlation, sort of understanding the way that the network or the application stack is structured, we'll leverage that as well. And we're gonna group all of those different events together and we're gonna say, this is an incident. Now, the last bit that we're gonna do is apply causal ML as part of this. And we're gonna identify the root cause of the particular incident, the precipitating incident, and then all of the other sort of fallout the results of that particular root cause. And we're gonna use that to drive certain automations. It's a JSON object. You can do all sorts of interesting things with it. Again, it's gonna have that root cause and then it will have all of the related events to that. So what operators tend to want is a smart alert. They wanna see something that tells them this is what the root cause of the incident was and this is all of the related activity that we saw from that. They can focus on that root cause. That's where you're gonna go remediate. And then they're going to basically understand the context of that, what the impact was, which customers were affected, when it happened, things of this nature, will also be part of the Smart Alert. And I'll show an example of that in one moment. But you can also go create tickets within JIRA, uh, within ServiceNow. And some customers are actually driving closed loop automation with this as well. They're coming in and they're uh, leveraging Ansible or some of the commercial orchestration systems that are out there in the market. Um, just to recap here, in terms of AI and ML, what's part of the platform today, we basically have this sort of auto baselining, this auto thresholding that's present for metrics. For logs, we're doing this sort of a text to event extraction and we're doing named entity recognition to do that metadata. And then for correlations, we're grouping everything together. And then the last bit here is that we have this conversational LLM uh, that allows you to come in and actually just ask questions of the telemetry and I'm out of time. So what I'll do is just bounce ahead to that. The general idea behind this is that you can come in and you can literally ask questions of the system using Slack. No need to learn a domain specific language. Anybody can come in and do it. You know, I have a six year old, my six year old can come in and say, what are the events related to this? And it will actually come back and answer that right within Slack. It will contextualize that. There's templating that's available and all sorts of other sort of scripts that you can put in here. You can potentially drive remediation right through Slack. It's an entirely new way of sort of engaging with your telemetry through this. No need to sort of sit there with dashboards. You can do all of this through Slack. Um, and I'll close there. If anybody would like a demo, uh, our booth is off there in the far back right of the room over here. Happy to do that for you.